Hey y'all, how you doing? Welcome. I hope you guys are doing so well and enjoying your October this far and enjoying the new videos and all the goodness and thin veilness that this blessed month brings. Uh, doing something a little different today for y'all because I got a little something in the mail from a friend of mine and I really wanted to share it with you guys. She is, I have a definite soft spot for entrepreneurs, okay? <laughs> um, and this is a dear friend of mine from Ascendant Moon. Uh, her name is Liza and she has created a subscription box. Now she lives over in Cyprus and so everything in these subscription boxes are locally sourced from the Greek island, Cyprus, Crete, and what they are is everything that you would need for a ritual. So get your ritual done on your new moon, on your full moon, on any given day or night as you feel so called to do, for Halloween, Samhain, Mabin, for really any reason for your birthday. Um, it's everything that you could possibly need or want or desire in a curated box for you. So she sent me over one of these boxes. She just launched this. So she sent me over a box and said, Lady Crow, let me know, like... <laughs> you know, what do you think about this box? And I have to tell you, first of all, I love a subscription box anyway. I love a curation. I love things that smell good and serve a holistic, spiritual, focused, and, you know, manifestation, intention, purpose anyway. This is right up my alley. So if that sounds good to you, I think you're also going to dig what's going on in this box. So I just want to take you through um, everything that she sent me. So First of all, she includes this beautiful card here. And it, I mean, this pretty much says it all. This stuff will literally elevate your vibe. So here we are, ascendantmoon.com. And I have to say, like, even just opening it and the fragrance that happened when I opened this box elevated my vibe absolutely. So I want to start with, I think this is my favorite, like, <laughs> the box, honestly. So... This is her Moon Ritual Salt Soak. And I'm just going to open this up and just prepare yourself. You might even get this like through the video. The scent of this. Wow, 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 wow. So the scent alone is really, really, really special. Very, very fragrant. So take, feast your eyes on that. Yes, those are dried rose petals. And who doesn't have a dried rose petal? So this is made with organic essential oils. The scent is rose, you don't say, geranium and French lavender. I just got to take a... Oh my God, guys, it's so, so good. And you can sprinkle these on the floor of your shower or take a bath with them. Or you know what I've been doing? is I've been leaving them open next to me uh, whilst I work and it's kind of acts like a potpourri as well, which I don't think is like, it's intention, but like, why not? Because it really kind of acts like a potpourri. It's really beautiful. Um, I think this is my favorite though, like in the box. It's very exfoliating, as we know. Um, salt works wonders in sort of cleansing and resetting your energy, but also exfoliating that skin because we need to exfoliate our skin and keep it fresh. And, you know, there's a word I'm looking for, but I can't think of it, nubile. <laughs> I don't think that's it. But keeping your skin, you know, uh, feeling good and exfoliated and, and healthy. So moving on, we also have, I think this is, I'm basically going in like order of like excitement here, but we also have, this is oh my God, the smell though, the smell. We have some beautiful loose leaf sage from Cyprus. It's very exciting. I was just in Cyprus um, and I have to tell you, like, it's it's so amazing that all of this is locally sourced because it's it's such a rich, rich, rich landscape and such a beautiful place. So I, I do feel like you get some of that, like in the box with all of these things. Look at this loose leaf sage. So you can use this, it's multi-purpose. You can use this to make tea, a loose leaf tea, or you can burn it which is really, really nice. I love a multi-purpose item. This is this is not gonna be the dried sage that you're used to. I think I have some here, actually. I'll show you, like, by contrast. Like, So this is more of like a dried sage bundle, which is brilliant and lovely for smudging. But I'll tell you, it's not the same as, like, a fresh loose leaf sage. It's it's just different. It's um, it, it smells a lot more fragrant. It smells better to me. Um, and, and it's just fresh is better, like ultimately. So this is really beautiful. Loose leaf sage. 
We also have, well, I'll bring this forth. So <laughs> she includes this beautiful burner, which is like so amazing to me. It kind of looks like a, you know, genie lamp a little bit. So this is what you can, you know, put some of these items in to burn them for this ritual. So moving on from there, we have these burner coals. So these are help you to help you to burn all the items. You would set that in there, Ooh, light it up, get it going, and then add some of this to it which is, this stuff is really, really cool. So look at this stuff, can you see that? So this is really awesome. This is resin incense and it's jasmine and it's actually made by Greek monks on Mount Athos, which is just like, really? Greek monks, like monks made this and I have it and I can burn it, like set my intention to manifest. <laughs> I love it. So that would go in there as well. And then lastly, we have some yellow resin, which is also really nice. Take a look at that right there. To burn in here as well. So that's the box. It's everything that you could possibly need for a ritual. But there's one other ingredient that, of course, you would need when doing a ritual. And that is what you want to manifest, right? So speaking briefly about that, because I, I do feel like this is a message for, you know, the current energies, especially for October, but especially, you know, going into, because we're gearing up for the new year. When you set, right, your intention, when you're very clear on what you desire and you've really thoughtfully considered the wording of it and, and really given that some time and energy, and then you are pulling focus, time, and effort through using these tools, right? Which incorporate, you know, your sense of smell, touch, you know, taste. If you're, you're drinking the sage tea while you're burning it, all of those senses, right? When you're incorporating all of that and putting all of your energy and focus into a ritual, what you are doing is sending out a message to the universe, your higher self, the powers that be, right? That you are focused and dedicated and very much want what you are asking for. And there is power and in intention, right? So when you're focusing your power that way and you're setting your intention, you're writing it down for this ritual, incorporating the written word into it, or you want to release something, right? Traditionally, we ask for what we want on a new moon and we ask what we would like to be released or what's in our highest and best good to be released so that you can come in on the full moon. It doesn't have to be that way. You can back it up, switch it, and reverse it, whatever works for you. But traditionally, we manifest on the new moon, and we give thanks and release on the full moon. So, and it, this can be even more powerful when you work with those moon cycles and you're educated on them, right? So along with that, it's really about giving yourself the gift <laughs> of your time presence and really fueling that intention. That's really what you're doing. And what can happen around that is very, very, very powerful. So lastly, my girl over at Ascendant Moon, she also does these crystals and she gave me these when I saw her over in Cyprus. I really, really love them. <laughs> I just have to like show you because they're so beautiful. So we have Goldstone here, a personal favorite. Like look at how it shimmers and sparkles. It's really, really beautiful. Some beautiful rose quartz, don't you know, to infuse love into everything. Amethyst here, Stone of the Aquarius. Beautiful, beautiful, intuitive stone here. And then my personal all-time favorite stone of all, the moonstone. Look at how, oh, see, moonstone ring. Absolutely gorgeous. So she sells crystals too in her shop. Like if you're a crystal head like I am, especially because we're coming into the, you know, gift season uh, for some of you guys around Christmas or Halloween. I like to give presents on uh, Halloween or Samhain. Okay, that's my personal New Year. Okay, that's how I live. Um, so it's a really beautiful, um, thoughtful gifts to get for yourself mostly, um, also for the other people in your life. So I wanted to share this with you. She is also offering a promo discount code for all of you guys. All of that is going to be in the description box below the video. If you want to go check her out, she is at Ascendant Moon right here www.ascendantmoon.com. She's also over on Instagram and has quite a presence over on Instagram. She does regular readings on Instagram. I would absolutely recommend that you check her out as well. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed that visual <laughs> set of visual delights here. I wish you could smell all the beautiful fragrances that are coming through for right now, but I guess the only way to do that is to go get yourself a box. 
Um, again, it is a subscription monthly service, but there's no, you know, you can cancel at any time. And if you, even if you just want to get you one box and then, you know, maybe do another one down the road as needed. So there's no obligation. Um, but with that being said, I just really love supporting <laughs> my, my fellow business people, especially my fellow, you know, spiritual people, intuitives. Um, and so if nothing else, if this ain't for you or it's not the right time for you, maybe even just heading over to her Instagram and showing her some love and saying hey I saw that box looking good and give her some likes that would be really amazing because the more that you support other people the more comes back to you so uh with that being said thank you guys so much for being here I hope you enjoyed this this segment and I am sending you so many blessings and love and be well until next time